Hello Gemini, how's it going? Hope you're doing really well. My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. And um, we're gonna do uh, a reading for March. But you know it is a timeless reading. So whenever you happen to find this is when you were meant to see it. Uh, you're very welcome here, Gemini. Thank you so much for being here with me, the hermit. Um, Thank you so much for being here with me. I really appreciate it. Hopefully the uh, reading will resonate with you and you'll enjoy it and all that good stuff. And you know, if that is the case and you do, and you feel called to like and subscribe for me, I appreciate that very much. I, um, I already shuffled this deck before I turned the camera on and I, it's time for you to make a decision I feel like it's this thing between these two people that keep coming up in your readings, Gemini. Like it's crunch time. It's it's time for you to decide who you want. Um, yeah, look, you have the Seven of Cups here at the bottom of the, bit, the deck. Literally what I was talking about. Time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action. Because you might have been umming and aahing about these two, two people and it's time to make a decision, Gems. I kind of feel like I just dropped that. Um, what else for Gemini? That's the two of wands. Another decision card. Make bold and ambitious choices. I mean, this could be about something else in your life, but I'm kind of basing this on the fact that it is like, you've been coming up in your readings a lot. That, um, you know, there's been two people and I feel like Spirit is saying like it's time, you, you have to choose. <laughs> choose Gemini, who's it gonna be? The past person or the new person? Be bold, make a choice and stick with it. Because nobody can make this decision for you. And one more from this deck for Gemini. Yeah, you have the Knight of Swords. I was picking that up as well. It's like once you make the decision, like it's time. That's just what keeps coming through. It's time. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion, sudden changes. I feel like you're about to make a final decision on these two people and once you do that things move quickly and I think there's also a little push there like you need to make this decision now <laughs> basically um, yeah that's the message and you have this king of swords as well at the bottom of the deck which the king of swords talks about like not letting emotions get in the way, you know? Like, cause I don't know, say you're choosing between these two people and you feel guilty that you have to leave one behind. So you're like, oh, like I'm in an eye and it's like, I'll make a list and I'll make, I'll, you know, do the pros and cons and you still can't decide. It's time to like be like ruthless. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's kind of what's coming through. Okay, let's see who these, uh, people are then. So what, what's going on for Gemini then? You have the two ones again. Definitely time to choose. Time to make a decision, Gems. Okay, listen, either way, you're about to not be single. Okay, you have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. No, no more singleness for you. You have the Lovers and the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. You have Justice, which is like a decision. See, the Lovers can talk about making a decision. Like I know it's all about love and stuff as well, but you know, originally the lovers was all about like a, a very 
important life-changing decision you had to make. Um, the Five of Pentacles in reverse talks about like, <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, in reverse, um, <laughs> uh, it talks about coming in from the cold. So you're about to come in from the cold. I think there's a little message here. I want to say there's a little message here as well. Like they really are nagging you a little bit here. It's like once you make this decision, you're going to be bam, in from the cold. It's all going to move very fast. And there's a lot of love here with the Ace of Cups. Overflowing love. No more being out in the cold. Um, you, you have two cards of Taurus here. The King of Pentacles and the Hierophant. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus. Cl uh, clarify the, the lovers. The Eight of Cups. Not entirely convinced that was meant to come out. Let me reshuffle that. Not happy with the way that fell out. Um, clarify the lovers for me, please. Yeah, judgment. It's a decision. Um, they really are <laughs> like forcing this point. It's like once you make this decision properly, you know, because you might have been kind of umming and ahhing. It's like you'll make a decision and then you go back because you are a Gemini, you know. I'm a Gemini as well. Like I'm terrible at like final final decisions. I'll, I like talk myself into something and then excuse me, at the last minute I'll be like, wait, is that the right choice? Oh my god, I don't know, I have to think about everything again now. Um, so maybe you keep thinking that you've made your final decision and then you're like, oh, I don't know. But it's time. They're saying like, once you make this decision, it all starts to move. Um, the Magician and the Five of Cups, okay. So you've learned, okay, there's there's two fives here, right? Things have been kind of sucky for, for a long time, okay, with the Seven of Pentacles. But see with the Magician, these were lessons. Like, you're done with the lessons now. You're done with the sucky part. Um, that's all done now, okay? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Time's up. No more waiting around. You have the Four of Swords as well. It's like the healing period is kind of over. You know, it's time to come back out into the real world and uh, start living your life. Clarify this Ace of Cups. this Ace of Cups. Okay, <clears throat> you have Sagittarius and Libra came out. I don't know if that's really going to help us actually. Um, I'm going to go into this deck here and see what comes. Either way, you're going to be in a, a relationship here, Gems, with a lot of love. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Okay, you didn't feel worthy before, okay? That's, that's what the problem here was. Um, you've been learning to love yourself. That's what all these lessons in the past were about. It was about you learning to love yourself first. And now that you've done that, it's like time. Time to be in a relationship. No more single for Gemini. That's it. <laughs> so who are these people coming towards Gemini? I miss you. See, I feel like I want to know about these two people. 
because I do feel like there's two people or there's at least a final decision that you have to make about something. See how I keep changing the decks as well? <laughs> you might keep doing that. It's like, oh, maybe I want this person or this person or I don't know what I want. And you have the devil and the ace of swords. There's like a lot of passion about to enter your life. A lot. In one way or another. Tell me about um, who's coming towards Gemini. You have temperance. Who's coming towards Gemini? This could also be talking about reconciliation with a twin flame. Tell me about this person. Who's this temperance? Why are the cards, uh, why are you being this way? Um, tell me about this temperance. I'm coming back. Yeah, there's definitely at least one person. Yeah, I see. Look, I also see new love though, and I see I miss you at the bottom of the deck, but there's someone who's wanting a reunion here. Who is this temperance? Imminent pregnancy. Who is this temperance? Who is this temperance? Who's this reconciliation? Yeah, perfect. So there's an old flame uh, coming towards you, okay? Who, that's interesting that this card came out, imminent pregnancy. So there is an old flame <laughs> coming back who's like, I wanna have a baby. <laughs> like, it's a, let's do this thing, Gemini. Let's get a bun in that oven so you can't run away. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can run, but you'll be heavier, or you'll have heavier stuff to carry. Okay, uh, tell me. Yeah, there was definitely this this person from the past broke your heart. Is there someone else for for Gemini? Magician. Is there a new person for Gemini too? Who's coming towards Gemini? Yeah, the chariot. I feel like you're gonna have a choice. Could also be a Pisces here. Ah, the Page of Cups is someone new. Yeah, Page of Cups on top of the Ace of Cups. That is beautiful, thank you, Spirit. The Page of Cups on top of the Ace of Cups. You have someone new. You have a choice between the past Ace of Cups in reverse, the past and the new. And I just saw the Wheel of Fortune, so the time to choose is now. Uh, can we have some messages from this new person? I, I'm sorry I keep saying it, but that's what they're saying, so I have to say it. What would this new person say to Gemini? Let me love you. <laughs> what would this new person say to Gemini? They want to come towards you, but they can't. What would this new person like to say to Gemini? I've been hurt in the past. What would this new person like to say to Gemini? I think you are amazing. And tell me what this past person would like to say. Gemini. I'm plucking up the cards. Uh, they're scared of you, Gems. What would the past person like to say to Gemini? Don't rush in, take your time. So this person's taken a hell of a long time to come forward. I see marriage and children with you. This past person, um, if they were not wanting to settle down before, that's changed, okay? Like this person's like, no, like let's do it. Let's have babies, let's get married, let's buy a house. Like don't, don't, please don't leave me. <laughs> like I love you, I love you. Uh, tell me what this new person would like to say. Let yourself be loved again. They are healing themselves. 
this new person's been through a crap relationship, I would say. Some of you might already know this new person. If that's true, then they miss you. What would this new person like to say to Gemini? One more. You are an earth angel. You are my sunshine. I'm not going to take all of those. Yeah, this person, they, both of these people kind of put you up on a pedestal, Gems. I'm gonna get a couple of messages from here. I just don't want the reading to be super long, you know. I don't want it to insist upon itself. <laughs> uh, what would the past person like to say to Gems? I'm not gonna bother pulling like outcomes and stuff because it's clearly not, this has not been decided yet, you know. The Six of Cups. I love looking at our photos. We have so many good memories. This past person, like, they really miss you. What would the past person like to say to Gemini? The Three of Cups. Being with you is like a party. It's always fun. That Three of Cups came out in reverse. So I'm wondering if this is someone who, um, they like to party. You know, like, they may have even liked a drink. Because the Three of Cups is like, <clears throat> sorry, hold on, I'm choking. <coughs> the, the Three of Cups, oh, I sprayed something in here and it's like killing me. <laughs> um, yeah, the Three of Cups can be about like drinking and partying and having fun. So that, it came out in reverse, so that, you know, they want you to know, like, I, I'm not, I don't care about that anymore. I want you. And one more from the um, past person, please. One more card from the past person. The Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Wands. You sweep me off my seat off my feet if that's what that was supposed to be you sweep me off my feet every single time oh and you have the wheel of fortune but it was in reverse so they're saying it wasn't the right time for communication before that's why they didn't contact you because maybe you're kind of like yeah see with temperance here like the the temperance is a card of like waiting for the right time like balance patience this past person was waiting for the right time to come back in because you see the thing is right people can tell energetically when you're pissed at them you know um like we we don't think that that stuff is true but it's true like everything is energy like you are telepathic telepathy is a real thing like you pick up on that stuff like space and distance is not it doesn't it doesn't matter you know so this person like if you if you've been really pissed at this person you're like i don't want to talk to you i hate you <laughs> they're good they're not going to be like oh well give me the phone then you know what i mean they've been like waiting for the right time so that you you would consider taking them back basically um what would this new person like to say to gemini What would this new person like to say? You have the Hierophant, I promise to be faithful now and forever. That just came straight out. Oh my God. Uh, you have the, the Hierophant and the Ten of Cups. Our family means so much to me. This new person is just straight in, like, I want to marry you. I want a commitment. I want children. I want to settle down. There's no screwing around with the new person. Like, that's it. I feel like that's what they've always wanted, you know? Like, that's just who they are. They've definitely been through something. See, there's a ten of pentacles in reverse here. I feel like they maybe were already married. Or they were in a, a really long-term commitment in the past that has gone awry. 
because I'm seeing this Five of Cups here as well. They're showing me the Five of Cups. So they've had some kind of sadness with a relationship that didn't go well. <clears throat> Excuse me, but then you have the Four of Swords upright. My love, you're my, sorry, the Four of Wands upright. My love, you're my happily ever after. Like, they may, this new person may even have like left something to be with you, um, for some of you. And one more for the new person, please. Oh my God, Gemini, the Two of Cups. This new person's like intense. Um, like a reflection, I am yours forever. Like they're just all over it. That's it. This new person, you choose this new person, you have them forever. I mean, I think honestly, you choose the past person, you have them forever. So honestly, they both really want you. This person, I think, took longer to get where this person has always been at, if you see what I mean. Like this person, the new person was just always like, yeah, I want to settle down. Like I want a family. That's it. Done deal. The past person was, it, it took them longer to get there. But that doesn't mean that now they're there, it's not real. It's very real, you know? Um, tell me about this past person. Oh, they could have a Libra in their chart. Tell me about the new person. Okay, I'm not sure who that was. Tell me about the new person. Oh, the new person might have Scorpio. Okay, let's go into, yeah, I feel like maybe the past person might have Taurus. Let's see if it comes out in the other card. Tell me about this uh, past person, spiritual overthinker. Tell me about this past person, energetic. Yeah, look, Taurus. They might also have a little Pisces in their chart, this past person. Tell me about this past person. Independent, yeah, there it is. Um, they are very intuitive though. See, this is why they haven't called you because they're very easily able to like read en energy. Um, so they've been waiting <laughs> to see if you're going to let your guard down, you know, because they're not like a, they want this to work with you. So they're not going to call, like I said, when you're like not up for it, you know, because um, they don't want to screw it up. It's because especially if they've kind of, you know, <laughs> like done a runner or whatever it was in the past it's like well I only have one chance you only get one shot with Edna Kerbobble I hope you're happy <laughs> um tell me about this new person I don't know who that is hold on tell me about the wait a minute here tell me about the new person please okay new person might be very health conscious tell me about the new person large and in charge so your new person um might be physically very big you know like a uh, big chest big shoulders they might also be in charge for a living like a boss or something tell me about the new person caring cute oh they are a sweetheart they really are like this new person is just like I don't know how to describe it. Like they're kind of, um, they're just so sorry, gems. The camera cut out. The, cut, the camera cut me off. Um, it's just they're just so sweet. They're just very simple. Like they know what they want. I feel like they always knew what they wanted, which was to be settled, to, like have a family and settle down. And now that they've met you, they're just like, oh my god, yeah, let's do this thing. <laughs> but they have been hurt. Okay. Uh, for, it's from some kind of relationship that went wrong like but it's like long term like they were married they could be a Virgo um, they were married or it was like engagement or something like that what else about this um, 
What else about this new person? Kind. What else about the new person, please? Funny. So they have a really good sense of humour as well, James. And you have to the point. This one wants to come out too tall. So that might be something that differentiates these two people or something. Like maybe your Taurus is a little smaller and this new person's like bigger. Okay, let's get one more for the new person. Um, what else about this new person coming towards Gemini? Total sweetheart. And let's make it fair. Tell me three more about this past person. I just want to make sure we're talking about the past here. Tell me about the past person, please. Three more for the past. Leo. So your past person might have Leo and Taurus. That was Leo and Taurus, not Leo in Taurus. Um, and two more for this past person. Charismatic. And one more. Very wise is coming out too. So I think your past person's quite a fox. Because sexy has just come out as well. I'm not gonna pull any more cards. Um that is your message, Gemini. Good luck with this decision, because they both I I, I think maybe you're gonna struggle with this decision. Um, I don't know if it's like you have to make the decision before something happens or they're both going to come in at the same time and then you have to make the decision but there's something here about you having to make a decision fast, okay? There's like a little <laughs> spirit's kind of giving it. Okay, time to mm -hmm, decide. Gemini, come on. So that is your reading, okay? I hope you find it useful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel like doing that, I'd appreciate it very much. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings, love and light. Take care.